my ghosts in this episode we're going to talk about the myths and the realities involving nomads and we get into it on this episode of demons road tv and oh yeah we ghosting baby Ghosts, welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Chopper Sosa, I'm your host for the evening, and today we're gonna talk about nomads. First things first, hit me with that pound ghosting, and that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on tools, doing what you do. Shout to all my new subscribers, leave your name, your state and your affiliation. If you're in a motorcycle club or if you're a lone wolf, leave that in the comments. Now we're gonna talk about nomads and nomad charters and every club is different. So I'm gonna give you my perspective on nomads. A lot of people are under this impression that nomads are not, are like just lost members in a club. And that is, that is a myth. Nomads are actually in a nomad charter. They actually do report to a president and that president only reports to the national. So a nomad is in a charter, they're in a nomad charter. But when they have meetings, it could be in Chicago one day and it could be in New York the next day. And when you're a nomad, you have to be, you're, you're like a, a traveler, you need to pick up and go. So you're constantly on the move. If you get that phone call, it's time to go. And if you're not coming when they give you that phone call, they coming for you. Also, I wanna say that different clubs move differently. So maybe your club, Nomads is just lost. You know, people in a state that they don't have a whole chapter, so they say, all right, we'll just rock the Nomad. That's a dangerous thing to do if you're like lost in a state, but every club is different. So we're just gonna put that to the side so that I don't have to hear in the comments, well, no, nomads do this or nomads do that. I'm telling you my experience of nomads that's official. I've seen it myself, not like people see stuff on the internet and then they're like, yo, this is, you know, this is what a nomad is or whatever. A nomad has to be a one percenter. He has to ride American made. If there's a new chapter that's being set up, the nomads will get sent out. They'll do the background checks. They'll, they'll meet the people that are actually gonna turn to the nation and just do a proof check, see who's who, see what the area is like. They get sent out and they really have to be ready to jump at any moment if they get the call from their prayers, which their prayers only gets the call from the national. Nomads also come and help out a chapter. If a chapter is having trouble that the, the sergeant arms can't handle, that the president can't handle, and, and there's like chaos, or there's beef with another club, and they need support because they don't have enough members, the nomads are gonna come through. If there's issues between club members that can't be handled, the nomads will come and mediate, fix the whole situation. They won't leave until everything is fixed. And if they gotta put hands and feet, they put hands and feet. But they have the, they have the job that no one really wants to do and it's a lifestyle that you gotta be 100% in. Cause if you're not, it's gonna chew you up and spit you out. Nomad is also given to the elders like a retirement deal. And the way it works is you, when you go to events, you go to whatever's going on, bike events, bike runs, poker runs, they don't have to pay the cover charge and stuff like that. They function as a nomad. It's a, it's a high honor if you're like, it's like a retirement from the club. 
if you have your state on the bottom, but you have a nomad side rocker, then that means you live an hour away from your nearest charter. If you have nomad on the bottom, under the bottom rocker, and then you have a state side rocker, that means you're in the process of creating a new charter in that state. So basically, the nomad builds and destroys. The nomad is the first one in and the last one out. The nomad comes in and helps create the charter. It, it does all the background checks, makes sure, sure that everybody is official, and then it creates that charter and goes to all the other clubs, let them know that they're in town and let them know that they're creating the charter. And then if everything, if all fails in a charter that's already established, they come and if they gotta cut it down and destroy it, that's what a nomad does. They build and destroy. They are a very vital part to expansion in any motorcycle club and any 1% club. They are the ones that put in that, that grind work that somebody in a chapter that's far away would never be able to do. Nomad means no home. And they are the building block, they are the builders, and they are the destroyers. They come in and build, and if they need to come in, they will destroy. Now let's get into what you guys think a nomad is. Okay, this comment is from Chris Anderson. Shout to Chris. A nomad is a member of a club that is not affiliated with any given chapter. Winston, Burkhart, you don't need to be in a club to be a nomad. Each club has nomads that are basically members that aren't positioned in a certain territory that roam from state to state. I've met several independent nomads and former club member nomads. Nomads claim no territory or state, so therefore they are not always specifically MC members. A lot of people watch too many gangland documentaries and think that nomads are some sort of 1% or biker elite. They are simply guys that prefer to ride rather than hang around bars or clubhouses all day. And there's a lot of truth to what you said, Winston. Shout to you, Winston. Much love, my ghost. There's a lot of truth to what you said, but you said that they're not a 1% of biker elite, and that's actually wrong. They are elite. They are the elite of clubs. Not to say that they're better than everybody, but they do have a separate charter that goes everywhere, and they only function under their president and under the national president. So that is elite because you don't follow the same rules as everybody else. Shout to Grizz the Demon. A nomad is a part of a club, but has nomad as his bottom rocker. Instead of claiming a state, for example, top rocker, notorious reaper, bottom rocker, nomad. So that's correct, that is exactly the format. When usually the bottom rocker would say the state that person is repping or affiliated with, that's how I see it. Nomads are still a part of a club, but possibly could be taking a break from a specific charter or chapter. And then he says to check out his GTA 5, I don't know if any of y'all mess with the GTA 5. Check the brother out. Shout to you, Grizz. The next comment is from Italiano P. I'm just going to call your last name P because it's a long one and I don't want to butcher it. Shout to you, brother. A nomad is exactly that. In the MC world, there are bikers within a club that are neither tied nor bound to an individual charter, chapter, or in region but answer to the club. In some cases, clubs will use their nomads as enforcers to ensure the same standard is held in all places that said club flies colors. Outside of the MC world, nomads are wanderers, people who ride from place to place without a care or concern with who's rocking what, who's repping who and where they're at. They're just riding. Shout to you, Italiano, and I agree with you on most of it, but you said they're not bound to an individual charter and a nomad is in a charter. They are in a nomad charter. They have a president. They report to that president. If that president tells you, listen, we got church in Chicago right now, you gotta jump on your bike and ride to Chicago. If you gotta put in work in New York, listen, you gotta meet us in New York. That's the way a nomad charter works. Mikey Michaels, shout to Mikey. Nomads are the enforcers of a 1% club. No specific chapter so they can hide. Now, nomads are not hiding. Nomads are the first one, when they get that call, they out. So that's the opposite of hiding. So nah, Mikey, you wildin' with that. But I understand what you're saying. They are the enforcers of a 1% club. If the 
national press gives that call, you gotta go out, that's how it works. My ghost, so if you got any questions involving nomads or any stories, hit me up in the comments, let me know, you know how we do. Check out the Demon's Row clothing, represent for your boy, we got the beanies, it's getting chilly out here. We got the t-shirts, you already know that. The link is right underneath every video. We got the merch shelf, we doing our thing. Demon's Row, the holy grail of MC culture. Share this on your timeline, share this on your social media, and let everybody know that Demon's Row is here. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.